Exploration number one. Find the roots of f of x. f of x is a polynomial, x minus 2, x plus 3. Where does it cross the x-axis? What are the roots? 2 and negative 3. Right? We know a lot about this polynomial. What do you know about the right hand? It's up because it's positive. What's the degree if there's two x's? Degree 2. So what do you know about the left hand? It's up. Yeah. If you multiply negative 2 times 3, you get negative 6. What's the y-intercept? Negative 6. Yeah, we know a lot about this. Okay? All right. G of x is equal to x plus 2. Are there any roots for this linear binomial? Yeah, at negative 2. Okay. Let's go next. Let's graph this function on our calculator and draw a sketch. Okay, so let's do that. x minus 2, x plus 3, divided by x plus 2. And when you have that entered, you can do a zoom 6 to reset your window. And, oh, that looks very interesting. Doesn't that look interesting? Okay. Um, hmm. Okay. Before we draw the sketch on here, um, press the trace button. Press the trace button, and do zero enter, and tell me what's the y-intercept. Oh, that's interesting. I don't know why that is. We'll figure that out later on. Well, this first question says, compare the x-intercepts with the roots of the numerator. What do you notice? Okay, well, what's the, f the numerator is x minus 2, x plus 3. What are the roots of the numerator? 2 and negative 3. So do this. You're on trace mode. Do 2, enter. And what do you get for the y value? Zero. Interesting. Then do negative three enter, and what do you notice? Y is zero. So what do you notice? It says compare the x intercepts, which are at negative three and two. Compare those with the roots of the numerator, which are also negative 3 and 2. What do you notice? They're the same. Unless I'm grossly mistaken, I think they're the same. Okay. Let's do this. In your calculator, what is the root of the denominator? negative 2. So you're in trace mode. Do negative 2, enter. And what's your y value? There's nothing there. Because if you plug negative 2, you have negative 2 plus 2. That's equal to 0, isn't it? And if you divide by 0, you're undefined. And so what happens is at negative 2, we get a vertical asymptote. It is a location on the function where the function doesn't exist. And so our function looks like this. And then it switches sides. And it looks like that.
So compare the vertical asymptote with the roots of the denominator. What do you notice? There is a vertical asymptote, abbreviated VI, at... Did I say I? Yeah. Oh, VA, vertical asymptote at the root of the denominator. Okay. Well, let's continue our exploration. This one says graph y equals x plus 2 over x minus 2, x plus 3 on your calculator. Draw a sketch and answer these two questions. Let's do it. So go into y equals parenthesis x plus 2 divided by double parenthesis x minus 2, close open, x plus 3, close, close. Zoom 6. Yeah, very interesting, isn't it? All right. Press the trace button on your calculator. Press the trace on your calculator. Now, what is the root of the numerator? Negative 2. So, if you're in trace mode, do negative 2 enter and what do you get for the y value? Zero. So compare the x-intercepts with the roots of the numerator. What do you notice? They're the same. Okay. Now let's do the following. What are the two roots of the denominator? This root is 2. This root is negative 3. Let's try both of those. You're in trace mode. Do 2, enter. What do you get for the y value? It's nothing. Undefined. Because if you plug a 2 in, 2 minus 2 is 0 and you're not allowed to divide by zero. So at positive two, we get that vertical asymptote. If you are in trace mode, the other root is negative three. So type in negative three, enter, and what do you notice about the y value? There's nothing there. Because if you plug a negative 3 into the linear binomial, negative 3 plus 3 is 0, and you're not allowed to divide by 0. So at negative 3, we have a vertical asymptote. So compare the vertical asymptotes with the roots of the denominator. What do you notice? The roots are 2 and negative 3. The vertical asymptotes are at 2 and negative 3. What do you notice? They're the same. And so our function looks like this. Based on these two mini explorations, can you draw any conclusions? What happens at the roots of the numerator? What happens at the roots of the denominator? All right, I guess we'll continue on. Let's look for a pattern. Let's go to the next exploration. Number two. 
here's a polynomial. What are the roots of this polynomial? Negative, Negative 1 and 2. What are the roots of g of x? Negative 3 and 1. Okay. So before we graph this on our calculator, let me ask you, look at the polynomial in the numerator. Where are the roots? Negative 1 and 2. Do you have any predictions when we make this graph what might happen at negative 1 and 2? Okay, then we'll graph it and see. How about the roots of the denominator? The root of x plus 3 is <coughs> minus 3 and the root of x minus 1 is 1. Do you have any predictions at what might happen at the root of the denominator? Maybe vertical asymptotes. Let's find out. So go into y equals and let's enter our function. Parentheses x plus 1, x minus 2, divided by double parentheses x plus 3, x minus 1, Zoom 6. Press your trace button and let's try the roots of the numerator. Negative 1 equals y0. Oh, it's an x intercept. The other root is 2. 2 enter gives us y0. Well, that's an x-intercept too. Compare the x-intercepts with the roots of the numerator. What do you notice? They're the same. Okay, let's look at the roots of the denominator. Negative 3, enter, and y is non-existent. It's undefined. So at negative 3, there must be a vertical asymptote. The other root of the denominator is 1, enter, and it is also undefined because when we enter either negative 3 or positive 1 it causes us to divide by 0 the function is undefined and we get this vertical asymptote which is a discontinuity and so our function looks like this Compare the vertical asymptotes with the roots of the denominator. What do you notice? They're the same. Let's continue on with our exploration. What are the roots of the numerator in this rational function? Negative 3 positive 1. Do you have any predictions about what will happen at negative 3 and 1? I would predict that there would be x-intercepts at negative 3 and 1. And the roots of the denominator are negative 1 and positive 2, do you have any predictions about what will happen at negative 1 and 2? Vertical asymptotes. So at negative 1 and 
two. So y equals x plus three, x minus one divided by x plus one, x minus two, zoom. We can press the trace button and double check at negative three, y is zero. At positive one, y is zero. At negative one, y is undefined. And at two, y is undefined. Let's flip the page. There is a third exploration. I'm going to skip right to the function. What are the roots of the numerator? Everybody out loud. Three, Three negative two, positive one. What do you expect will happen there at those three locations? X intercepts. And the roots of the denominator, everybody? Two, what do you expect will happen at two? A vertical asymptote. Good. That's the lesson for today. The roots of the numerator give you x-intercepts. The roots of the denominator give you vertical asymptotes. Okay? Your assignment is to finish this packet.